Hey, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG. In today's video, guys, what I got for you, we're going to be taking a look at another deck coming out of Evolving Skies, and this one is going to be a Victini Umbreon deck. So obviously, the new card that we're going to be playing around with in this video is going to be Umbreon VMAX. But before we take a look at it, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Victini VMAX. So Victini VMAX has been around for a while now. Everyone pretty much knows what it does. Max Victory is going to allow you to do 220 damage for 2 energy, which actually is not too bad because it does knock out most Pokemon B. And on top of that, it has Spreading Flames. You can attach up to 3 Fire Energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that's pretty good. I mean, overall, really solid little VMAX. But the thing is, well, we're going to be pairing it up today with Umbreon. So Umbreon has the ability Dark Signal when you play this Pokemon for hand to evolve one of your Pokemon. During your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So this is a, basically going to be a boss's orders and an ability, which is incredibly strong because normally whenever you want to bring up a Pokemon and use boss's orders, that's your supporter for the turn. But with Umbreon, you're still able to use your supporter. So you're still able to Marnie. You're still able to use Professor uh, Research. So really cool there. Uh, it's got a very solid attack too, but we're not going to be attacking with Umbreon, but it's still fun to note, hey, if you're able to get some Dark Energy or you're running a single strike deck, you can use Max Darkness and also the normal Umbreon B has a pretty solid attack as well, Moonlight Blade, which will get set up with Houndoom just in case you guys want to, you know, monkey around with that. So basically the concept for this deck is we are going to be using Dark Signal to bring up those Pokemon V like Crobat, like Eldegoss or just a pre-evolved VMAX Pokemon. So, you know, bring up a Urshifu V, you know, Ice Rider V, just whatever. And you're gonna be using Max Victory to knock it out. And then we also have a couple trainers in here to kind of keep that thing going, uh, which is gonna be Echoing Horn. You put a basic Pokemon for your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. So you're pretty much gonna be pulling a Pokemon from the discard pile that you could knock out using Dark Signal to promote that Pokemon and then knocking it out with Victini VMAX. So this was a concept that I thought was really fun sounding and I wanted to build it. Now as for like the lineup of Victini, I'm just kind of tweaking around with a 2-2 line uh, of Victini V with Energy Burst and then one with V Bullet. Really it depends on whichever one you want to run. Uh, you can run both, you can run a 3-1 split, you can run four of one copy. It doesn't really matter. I just said why not we'll just do two of them in here and see which one I like a little more but we do run a good amount of cards to try to at least evolve them as soon as possible so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our supporters in the deck we do have four professors research we have one Phoebe because of course we do need to get around uh, Pokemon that block V maxes uh, we have four Marnie and even though, yes, we do still run the Umbreon, uh, we still run two bosses orders just in case you don't want to. I mean, hey, the, the capability of bringing up Pokemon and hitting them is so strong. We, we need to try to maximize that as much as possible. Uh, but we also run four Pokegear. And that's really to kind of grab the Phoebe or try to dig for the Phoebe if we're really needing one. And then Palpats, that way we can reuse Phoebe or we can reuse other supporters. It really just depends. Um, honestly, I just did not want to run into the issue of I can't attack Pokemon at block VMAXs and just lose because of it. Now, th if this is prize, it's prize, but I just didn't feel like committing two spots to it. But you can. And speaking of that, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and get this out of the way now. So, Experience Share, this one's completely up to you. Like, if you don't want to run Experience Share, you don't have to run Experience Share. Uh, obviously, Victini only takes <clears throat> excuse me, two energy to attack. And I thought... Why not? We'll just go ahead, in case Victini gets one shot or something crazy happens, we'll go ahead and just have an experience share. Whenever, you know, a Pokemon gets knocked out, you just move an energy attached to a Pokemon that has experience share. So you're going to be throwing these on your Victini and basically just kind of keeping attackers going. So these three spots, you can run the experience share or you guys can run whatever else you want. I'm just going to say that now. Uh, but we also run three switch, you never know. You might need some switching cards in here, uh, just in case your opponent tries to stall or something. Uh, we run four quick ball, this is going to grab our basic Pokemon. Uh, we run four evolution instance, and the reason why we run four. Uh, one, of course, basically at any point, if you're able to grab a Umbreon and evolve, that is potential prizes. And our main attacker can be grabbed with this as well, so this is in here to grab our V Maxes, uh, which are very crucial to the deck. And then I think that's about it other than the energy. 
So capture energy, obviously Victini takes a colorless and a fighting, or fi wow, fire, excuse me, <laughs> colorless and a fire energy. I don't know where I got fighting. Uh, so, you know, you can play capture energy, grab your Umbreon or another Victini out of your deck. It really just depends on what you want to do there. And then we're going to, of course, round out the deck with eight fire energy. So this deck, honestly, was one that I have been kind of think. oh, yeah, I kind of forgot our support Pokemon. <laughs> Eldegoss V is going to grab you a supporter. So, again, kind of getting back to Phoebe or just a supporter in general. And then, of course, Crobat to draw some additional cards with Dark Asset. Okay. But this is a deck that I thought sounded really, really fun. I really wanted to try it, and I'm like, this is happening. So I got the stuff online as quick as possible, and I have a gameplay for you guys in this video that's actually going to be showcasing kind of how to play this deck. But overall, definitely one of my favorites kind of coming out of Evolving Skies. Um, this is my favorite evolution, and so the fact that I get to, you know, finally monkey around with it and have like a really good card for it is awesome. I don't know. It's a toss-up between this and Glaceon. Those are like my two favorites. But yeah. So, hope you guys did enjoy the deck portion of the video. We're going to get into the gameplay, and I want to say thank you guys all so much for the continued support. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the gameplay. All right. Let's see. So, what I could do... So, we're going to go ahead and pitch the Poke Gear because we don't need it. And we'll grab Victini. Lay down Victini, test Victini, and then we will pass. I'm still going to try to get some single strike uh, Urshifu VMAX because then I can build the Umbreon, Urshifu, whatever. And this is going to be a terrible match. Oh, yeah. So I think what I should do here. So my opponent didn't play anything from their hand at all really. So I'm going to evolve into Umbreon, promote that, and then we're going to Professor's Research. Play that down, play that down. We did hit a switch. Oh god. We can kind of soften it up, but not really. I guess that's like a decent chunk of damage, but nothing really great. Hey, whoever disliked the stream, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> You're awesome. I hope you have a better day. I'll say that. Let's uh, play one energy here. Play another big teeny. Pokey Gear, maybe give me something. I don't want a Marnie because he isn't playing anything. Gosh darn it. That sucks. Oh, man. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll just pitch that, I guess. Oh, man. That is, that is rough, dude. That is rough. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, goodness, goodness. That is what I needed right there. Thank you. There we go. And then, boom. Give me that Shadow Rider. Yes, give me that. G give me that. And we're going to play a energy here. Pokey Gear. Got to research. Sweet. Unfortunately, we're going to be. Pitching one of our Echoing Horn, but we can get around that. 
Yes, okay. And we did get another Umbreon. Cool. And now I'm just going to kind of thin some stuff out here. Grab that just in case I need that. Um, shuffle some supporters back in. Yo. Uh. Yeah, we'll shuffle it in just because we're obviously running out of Umbreon. And then we will max victory for 220 damage. This deck is actually kind of stupid, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I mean, we really don't need to do anything else. We'll just, yeah. We'll hit it for 100, why not? to play that but I just have too many resources in my hand well now I hope I get a boss Ooh. all right now we're gonna be pitching some stuff for boss here so we're just gonna go ahead and just gonna go ahead and toss all that one up okay uh, we did get it so just in case we need to retreat or something or some crazy shenanigans happen guys we're just gonna do that right there boom Do, 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 There we go, guys. There's a victory. Nice. Yeah. Honestly, really liking this deck, man. It's pretty fun whenever I actually get to play games with it. It's pretty fun.